Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Nope, oh, nope. One, two, three. Hello, and welcome to a very special series of Short Story Bingo. My name is Nate Chagall III. If this is your first time, welcome. If it's not, the retention program is working. Normally, what I do is I'm a narrator to some stories that you have heard and some that you haven't. It's like Libro FM, sort of. Um, but here, I'm a student of life, learning about other people to share their stories, insight, and opinions, which in turn become, you know, our stories. Um, this is episode one of the Our Story series, and uh, I have the very, very um, special pleasure to speak with Brandon Harris, who is the CEO of Jawsercise. You can see here, this here is their total transformation kit. Um, this uh, includes, you know, has an insert here with week by week instructions on how to, um, you know, tone, tighten, strengthen your face and neck, and then a four, the four different packs here. And of um, there's a pop and go mouthpiece, and then a custom mouthpiece um, for you to you know start that fitness for your face. Um, Brandon has a very very intriguing uh, message, and that's to just keep pushing, man. He's a very very inspiring individual. Um, uh, underwent a very incredible accident um, when he went out to Hawaii, um, and he speaks about that and what he did to bounce back from from that accident and create the brand that he has today. He has an excellent team with him, Brandon Broda, um, and they, they, they've they uh, made sure to put a job size in, I, I mean, I don't know if you've been able to go past an Instagram feed without going through there and without seeing a job size um, uh, ad, but they're doing great. I'm super blessed to have been, been able to, uh, you know, partner with them um, and for them to support the podcast and get this conversation with Brandon because he's a very, very busy guy and is all, you know, constantly doing new adventurous things. He's an adrenaline junkie. It's amazing. Um, with that said, big ups to our sponsors, Jawsercise. Go visit Jawsercise.com and enter story bingo at checkout and to receive 60% off your entire order. Again, story bingo at checkout to receive 60% off your entire order. Also visit Libro.fm and receive two audiobooks instead of one when you enter the code STORYBINGO at checkout as well. And then visit ExtraTMedia.com. My man George Life is uh, helping artists uh, here in Salt Lake and far with beat making, songs, uh, their singles, albums, um, media needs for businesses if you need some cool drone shots, stuff like that. A um, ton of media needs and concerns that he addresses. Um, over there at extratmedia.com and uh, yeah make sure to follow like subscribe please hit the bell uh, we're doing everything we can to make sure these videos get pumped out but welcome short story bingo episode one our stories i sat down with brandon harris thank you Short story bingo. Short story bingo. Short story bingo. Short story bingo. Sometimes they're funny and sometimes they're sad. Most of the time they're funny because I hate to be sad. Short story bingo. Short story bingo. Short story bingo. Short story bingo. But don't take my word for it. Spare fingers. Yes. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nate Chacon III. If this is your first time, welcome. If it's not, the retention program is working. What we do on this podcast normally, I'm your friendly, sometimes funny, glorified narrator. But here, I'm a student of life, learning about other people to share with all people their stories, insight, as they become our stories. Today, we have Brandon Harris, who's the CEO and founder of Jawsercise. Um, in 2016, he created this innovative face strengthening product, which activates 57 plus facial muscles for uh, a workout of a muscle group that is 99.9% .9 of the time passed up on. Um, he's been featured on the likes of Fox News Radio, Yahoo, The Doctors, and The New York Post. Uh, Brandon, how are you, sir? Welcome to Short Story Bingo, our episode of Our Stories. How are you? I'm, hey, Nate, thank you so much for having me. It's, all, it's an honor to be on everybody's show or anybody's show and share with the, my story with your following. So I really appreciate the opportunity. It's another beautiful day, Aloha Friday here in Maui, Hawaii. <laughs> just uh, another day in paradise. We just got back from a crushing 
uh, hike called the Cross over here in Wailuku, West Maui Mountains. It's about just an hour hike, but you know, it's pretty vertical. Uh, it's definitely a great workout, especially uh, you pair it with some facial fitness, gets you in touch with your primal side, really gets you moving. And it, it was just, it's a really fun, uh, adventurous island to be on, that's for sure. Love that. How, so we can just start there even. How long have you been out in Hawaii? Going on 10 years. Okay, I'm what a, took you out there? I'm born and raised in Fairbanks, Alaska. I uh, experienced a jaw injury in the dead of winter of Alaska. My jaw was broke completely through and wired shut for a combination of four months. Um, during the recovery, I, uh, I got an opportunity to go visit a friend on Oahu. It was 50 plus below. I just said the day they took the metal out of my mouth, I already had my plane ticket booked. And uh, within a couple of days of being on the islands for the first time, I knew that it was a new chapter in my life that, uh, you know, I spent 20 plus, almost 30 years in the last frontier, coldest city in North America. I don't know how many years running, but running a long time. And uh, uh, just, you know, change the gears to go to the extreme opposite, a polar opposite from uh, Quite cold literally. dark winters to a beautiful paradise year round. Right. Well, so that I wanted, to, as you were bringing that up, um, that takes a that takes a pretty strong mindset to be like, okay, well, this is what I'm going to do now, especially after that try, you know, that impactful of an accident to happen. Um, where was your headspace at beyond what you just mentioned? Like, I mean, there had to be a little bit more of a, okay, well, you know out of this, out of this, I'm, I'm going to become something different or was it just, I just want to get out of Alaska. Uh, you know, it was, it was called. I suppose it was this for Richard. Ever since I was a strong wrestler in high points, but long story short, my scholarship option kind of went on to the back burner i jumped into brandon hold on one second one second one second one second because your your video is messing up which is fine that'll happen you want to turn yours off and then turn it back on okay my side freezing up um it's uh it's just there's some latency I think it might have been my Wi-Fi. Somehow it turned back on. I went back to cellular data. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, so now all good. We're back. We're back. This is what's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen, on this, which is all good. I'm, I know that you guys are rocking with me, so I'm not worried about it. Um, Brandon, I want to reset that. So what was, again, what was your mindset going through that change in your life? Um, as I mentioned, if there has to be Nate, something else that you were digging deeper on. Well, Nate, that was the whole thing. It truly brought this fruition, this exercise device to fruition. Because like I said, uh, state champion wrestler, well, I broke my ankle in the state final, so I lost by a few points. Wow. Regardless, my wrestling uh, uh, scholarship kind of got put on the back burner. And that's when I jumped into the cage and I realized that, hey, I'm a tough guy from Alaska, a strong wrestler. I have mean ground and pound with a hard, you know, with power. I was a power hitter. Oh, wow. It, uh, you know, that's where I tra I took my wrestling skills into the cage. I went 10 and 12 professionally. Uh, really? I one, one of the light heavyweight belts in Alaska. But this is, you know, Nate, this is so many years ago. We're talking 03, 04, 05, 06, 07, I believe was my last fight. But, uh, you know, that's I still, helped. That's you know, still something that, but that's still something that's, that's really intriguing to me. And here's why. I think, um, you know, in my own growth, in my own development, I find it very, very crucial to even look back on times like that because you had a, a motivation that was pushing you then that has helped out with, you know, where you're at now in your life. I mean, you don't get to this point in your life for no reason. You don't become a state champion or get to the finals or whatever yeah. it is for no reason. You know, champions are champions because of the mindset that they're in. So it's really important to hear things like that. A hundred percent, Nate. And, you know, I always uh... – I, you know, I, I got the idea, I got to be honest, from my, my brother's pit bull, Kane. He had this pit bull 
uh, this 140 pound, nicest dog ever, but he had the strongest master. He always <laughs> gnawed on his Kong toy so aggressively. And he always just, that's what he wanted to do. And, you know, we were taking a pay, play fetch out at South Way for a, a gravel pit. And as long as he could make it to the Kong toy and he could be gnawing on it, put him in this survival primal mode that activates a different section of your brain, in my mind, and he could always just go the extra limit. There was no stopping him. So I relatively made a device that was homemade that simulated the range of motion of the bite. Sure. And I would essentially put thousands of reps into it, you know, eight to 10 weeks prior to a fight, I would start this process to, you know, strengthen the jaw, give me a better bite on my mouthpiece, you know, strengthen the neck. Right. You know, keep, you know, and and give you endurance on the bite of your mouthpiece. Cause that's one of the biggest fear. One, a big fear in f- of the fight world is you catch the clip in the 45. That's the knockout spot. And it's usually when someone has their mouth open because they're gassing or because they have a weak bite on their mouthpiece. Wow. So strengthen the connective mus- muscles, t- uh, tendons, tissues, and uh, just, I mean, it's solid, bro. Right. So that's, so that's what, okay. So your, your uh, brother's dog had a, had an influence <laughs> uh, on, yeah. on and you know what, sometimes, honestly, those are some of the, the stories that I definitely hear from some of the most innovative products ball, in the world. Ball. So like, that's not like surprising or anything like that. When you, yeah, uh, when you were doing this then with your, with your, um, with your home product, did you, did you, at all ever anticipate that you're going to be like, you know what, I'm going to like actually start making these. Honestly, yeah. I'm being totally serious. I don't, you know. Like- oh, Nate, I, I always had in the back of my mind, I'd always be calling people to the table that I knew that I could pick their brain, you know, successful business people, people that I looked up to friends. Every time I had an opportunity to bring somebody together to help me uh, mastermind on how do you create a device that exercises the temporal mandibular joint or TMJ, the connective tissues, muscles, and essentially the forgotten human bite, the, the canines, the biters, the rippers, the terrors, yeah. the stuff that the modern diet has completely robbed humans of. Not, maybe there's not one other animal, insect, species in the world that doesn't rely on the strength of its bite. Besides, humans have outsmarted our own physiology we created tools. We cook, cut, blend, process. We bypass the canines. We've made this weak process diet that takes minimal mastication along with zero crunchiness of the diet to the activation of the, you know, the temporalis slow. There's a, there's a stimulation of the mind, the activation from the biting, the ripping, the tearing, the, tearing, the mastication, the, the saliva generation. And it's, but I don't, I don't, again, I don't want to go too far off in any, sure. any direction. Besides well, the- I want to say something before, because I have, you know, where the next piece that I want to talk about, but I want to talk about my own experience with, with uh, the, the product. Like when I, I know that when I use it, um, I feel the blood flow into my, into my head. That's when I like, it almost like wakes me up almost yeah it's not almost it does it wakes me up like when i get to a point where i can actually start feeling blood flowing in my head i'm like okay there we go now let's start let's get into like the next hour of the day and then i'll just hit it for like another two minutes or something and then boom going it just like that it's almost like it's a rush it's what it feels like almost literally so that's something that um i've taken from it i also um in my own research of it and i'd like for you to speak on this just to uh cover the whole range of the product and the some of the um what folks might say like like when you are making that movement of like biting you it's telling your gut that you're it's preparing it to eat which which uh produces more gastric or or, like bile and uh things of that nature which can you know lead to like heartburn or whatever the case is um i don't know that's just one thing that i you know i've seen there's things i'm sure that have come your way why would someone why would why would someone maybe say you know jaws or size isn't for me and what would be your answer to that question as far as like hey i I, it, it makes me feel like I'm eating, uh, like, like I'm just chewing on a piece of plastic. Okay. Well, it's not plastic. It's medical grade silicone and it's Love a range it. of motion. See? 
to uh, to that you're exercising the forgotten bite. The first thing a human knows to do at birth without any uh, without being taught instinctually is to succulate the jaws are size on a breast for milk. So this is a primal activation and movement of the jaw. Uh, then humans get put onto a bottle, baby, a man-made nipple, which is very weak. You know, it takes absolutely no work to get the nutrients. Then we move on to a processed, blended, or a soft-served uh, baby food, and, and it's spoon-fed. And then it's, don't put that in your mouth, don't bite. So mm. I'm not a doctor. I don't make any medical claims. I'm just on this, wouldn't it make sense tip? And on this anecdotally speaking, from what I personally experienced from in the prime of my career at 28, 29 years old, when I was to be brought to an all time low of my masculinity, my confidence, my strength, my drive, everything by losing my body to see uh, how uh, uh, the other side of it. So, uh, I, and then again, on the medical or, or the gut health side, I believe the gut health is very crucial and so is saliva because saliva is what uh, kicks your metabolism off it starts in your mouth with mastication with actually utilizing your biters rippers and tears the range of motion of your uh, your bite most humans can barely fit two fingers in their mouth these days because we're onto this cut our fruit up a uh, piece of pizza uh, a, a cheeseburger maybe you bite into an apple but a majority of the population has that bullshit processed diet. Right. And, and, and then, you know, even I'm a huge blender. I take a mass amount of nutrition. I blend into a liquid smoothie. But how does your body know uh, when nutrients is coming? Because you chew, you masticate, you generate saliva, you prep your stomach, you click, you kick stomach acids off. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you don't take a, so that all three pounds of veggies that would take usually 500 <laughs> bites and blend it up in the Vitamix in 30 seconds. Right. Say, right. Go, 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 go. Boom. I'm gone. And one minute later, you think you just, I mean, you got to think about it. The blender has been around for 50 years. Humans been around for millions, thousands of long, lot, lot longer. A long, long, long time. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we adapt, but we don't adapt that fast. You know, what do you, what do we want to adapt to a person with no bite? Are we, right. are we trying to put the bite back in humanity or are we trying to give people, you know, maybe they just start injecting food into their stomachs and stop using their mouth completely. Completely. I mean, I mind, <laughs> <laughs> people that, shouldn't talk so much. I, I'm not mad at that either, man. Um, I think that's a good point. Like the, uh, the going down the, the road of, you know, where, where is that bite at? And um, I, when I was in, you know, putting together what I was going to talk to you about, I was very, very adamant. And when I first got it was like, damn, I don't, when you think about like muscles, um, I mean, like your heart, for example, that, that thing's, mo that's, it's working all the time. So, you know, always, that's why it's, you know, if you have high blood pressure, it's really uh, an intense thing because you're overworking your heart <laughs> and that's an overworked muscle. Uh, that becomes an overworked muscle rather, but your face, like your facial, uh, facial muscles, they are rarely getting work beyond just like normal conversation. And if you don't talk, I mean, I, you know, you see people that like, I don't know, they don't have like that jawline. I feel like most people, all people, if you have a jaw, there, there's a jawline to be found. So that's why I even started doing it myself and was to create that, that energy and that rush. Um, with that in tow, do you, with some of the, and I don't, I don't expect you to share a lot of the positive reviews, but like, what are some of the big positive reviews that you've seen from users mm -hmm. of the product? You know, it's just, again, it's not a claim that we make. It's just anecdotally speaking, but people like to relate to a stress ball as something you squeeze. Oh, uh, you, see, you see people in stressful situations uh, going like this, you know, grinding their teeth side to side, flexing their masseter, shortening their muscle fibers because they're clenched all the time. Uh, you see people doing this, uh, biting their nails, chewing through pen caps, smoking cigarettes, chewing tobacco, using vape pens, uh, oral fixation after oral fixation. And if you don't do all that and the other, possibly you're a bruxism night grinder and you try to grind your teeth off in your sleep because you're longing for the facial exercise that humanity has always had until 
uh, Joe, uh, Joe McDonald's came along and created this processed uh, bullshit diet. I mean, right. again, excuse my French, but it's like, nah, it's all good. we're strongest pound for pound muscle in the human body, the masseter uh, muscle group. The first instinctual primal movement you know to do before you can even really move your hands or roll over is to use this, this, and then to think that we should, it's the last thing that people think about training besides a, uh, uh, you know, especially on a diet, a side to side molar chew diet. We cut it up and we're right handed. We go right side, left side. We find ourselves chewing more on one side, creating this imbalance in the TMJ for your temporal mandibular dysfunction. Right. So again, I'm not a dentist, but in my mind, if there's a dysfunction in a muscle group, uh, in a joint, that it's possibly not being functioned properly. But that's on one of those things of wouldn't it make sense? I don't know. Go ask your dentist or TMJ specialist. <laughs> by the way, Jaws Size is backed by a 60-day, 100% money back guarantee. I refund even your shipping if for any reason or at any time you decide that facial fitness is not for you because the primal bite is not for everybody. You know? Yeah, that makes sense. Well, um, I, we'll, we'll uh, plug like everything uh, at the end here, I want to dive a little bit into the actual, the accident that you had. And I want to go into what, um, what that actually did to you. You mentioned um, a couple of things, but I'd like for you to really expound on that because there might be some of our listeners that have experienced something might be going through it now um, that uh, that type of experience, something life changing as it were, um, explain a little bit about how that happened and, um, and yeah, made a hundred percent. It, uh, you know, I guess I always keep these with me. You kind of just see this motorcycle accident. That's me. Wow. They're on a, a Wahoo. I spent, uh, you know, some time in an induced coma from a traumatic brain injury. You know, this is another story, but when I was, uh, got my ear bit off when I was about 19 in a gravel pit fight in Alaska, you know, so. Uh, that. yeah, that's I had, a, I had some wilder days at one point in my life but when you can look you can see you know some of my imbalance in my face and uh that's uh what you know, what does that do to like what where, where were you at in your in your life when that accident happened and wh when you were coming out of it like what you know what led into was, it and you know bro, i just kind of got into hawaii and just found a good job just saved up enough money to buy to go from my moped to the the ZX10 1000 Kawasaki, one of the fastest street bikes ever produced. Uh, you know, I bought it used with cruddy tires. Didn't even get a helmet yet. I've kind of put everything down on the bike. And uh, like day three or four, leaving work, kind of showboating in the rain. And sh sh just double whipped it, lost control, 40, 50 miles an hour. And just, you know, I don't know, I took this this split goes all the way back and then the, you know this big dent goes all the way in so you know then it's i wake up 10 days two weeks i don't know oh, sometime later and it's just a reset every time i wake up i don't know where i'm at where i am what happened i don't drink and drive but i can't remember what happened at all so my first thought is was i blacked out you know it's like and i asked over and over and over again you know, did I get a DUI? Like, what the hell happened? And I'm just like, no, no, no. And uh, long, long story short, it was just, it was a good couple of years. I don't want me. it short. I want it long. That's why I asked it. So, like, when you came out yeah. of that, like, and you're, like, looking around, you're like, what the? And so, like, oh, bro, yeah, my keep brother going. was out here yeah. for his honeymoon. They flew him over from another island. I was at the hospital just... You know, he, they thought it was, they, they couldn't believe it because I was just set so far back that, you know, trying to figure out basic stuff, my middle name, you know, stupid questions, who's the president. I don't even remember how dumb the questions I couldn't remember were. All I know is there was great concern over what the, what the situation was. Right. And, and uh, you know, my vision was over 50% gone. Uh, they made it illegal for me to drive for a year per se until I passed my uh, vision test. But, you know, I'm proud to say I'm back to a full 2020. These are just, uh, you know, those yellow ray or blue ray glasses. They just look slick. Yeah, yeah. And uh, where was your mind state at when you were coming out? So like what, like, uh, Ooh, just yeah. rocks, bro. Resetting and I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop. I couldn't stay away from the gym. And I couldn't stay away from long workouts, low impact. And uh, 
at the same time, you know, I'm not going to say directly after my injury did I get back on my homemade prototype. Yeah. But I will say that uh, it came within a few months that the solution just like a dog gnaws on a bone. I mean, I hate to always compare it to an animal, but we're animals too. And when they get anxious, anxiety, it's where's their chew toy, where's their tree? They, they, they generate saliva and then they lick their wounds to keep them clean. And they, you know, you get it. It's all, it's all the animal kingdom, but. Uh, so you come out I, of that. So you come out of that. You're from hearing you talk. It sounds like you're an adventure seeker. Um, you like adrenaline uh, and, uh, you know, things that are just a, just, just a, you know, energy seeker, which is great. Um, that must have been just, I mean, the gym must have been helpful, obviously, but was there something else in the back that you were just like, uh, there's something more? I mean, you'd mentioned that you had already made this when you were in Alaska, as far as your own unit was concerned. Um, what really was the high tail? You're like, okay, well, this is what I'm going to do, because at some point mm-hmm. I would imagine based on what you said that there was like a low end at where you felt like you were at, I mean, literally rock bottom and being like, oh, that's okay, it. exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. After, after the major jaw injury followed and then, and then uh, the traumatic brain injury on top of that, I was just at an all time low. And uh, so I was on this go, 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 because I got to get back to where I was. I got to get back. I couldn't stop thinking it. And that's when my personal trainer's like, bro, you got to come check out some core power yoga with me. So I got to give them a shout out because I became a yoga instructor, a huge uh, time practitioner. And yoga really was the main game changer that got me thinking straight, rewired wired my neural pathways from maybe a damaged brain on one side. And as long as I was going, 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 my neural pathways were firing. Maybe I activated a different part of me that then pushed me more towards the business analytical side or less analytical. I don't know what happened, but I went straight into a patent search years ago. I took a a binder of 42 things that were relative to anything close to the face. And then I started just, like I said, always going after how do I design and mass replicate a safe product that will fit to the human bite. And uh, so that's, that's that's truly what drove, drove it, you know? Yeah, don't. That's that sounds amazing. I I I love stories of self innovation, self growth, and and finding pathways to make sure that that happens rather than falling into pitfalls that we all can normally go into. I'm I ha, happens to me, um, happens to everyone. Honestly, it's a matter of how you come out of it. Um, is truly where where the process actually starts, where you start to see real results. So that's really really expansive on my own train of thought when I think of yoga, um, I remember hearing about, um, and I don't know, maybe you don't know this, but like Diamond Dallas Page, he was uh, on a a train wreck of his life and he went into yoga, um, the former wrestler, and it changed his life too. So like to hear that it was able to center you is not like an uncommon thing for that to happen with, but it is uncommon for people to actually continue with it and make sure that they retrain their brain, you know, retrain their brain to be able to have that self, self, um, uh, sense of self really. So that's, that's super interesting to me to hear things like that. And for you to make that, you know, make that transition and be like, okay, well, this is what I'm going to do now. And this is how I'm going to help the world because I don't see that, I don't feel like jaws exercise is just for you. I feel like you actually get a kick out of helping other people. Am I wrong on that? Oh my gosh, a hundred percent. There's nothing better that makes my day to hear of, of a customer who just, cause it's like something you cannot grasp until you try it. So my life message and goal is to convince people you always been told, don't put that in your mouth, don't bite. It's probably the first thing anybody is taught. But the reality is the bite, the primal, the alignment of the face, the exercise of the facial muscles, the maintaining of the, of the muscles, everything that's connected to it, is, it's so life-changing. And it's, again, we just stick straight with this exercise for your face, for your bite. Uh, we, we have studies, we've run studies, we're working on clinical studies. Uh, yeah, that's, that's where I wanted to go too with it because I saw, 
um, I saw the episode of the doctors and, and they, they, uh, I thought it was a pretty disingenuous review myself just because they didn't give the proper, I mean, it was on there, but like, also there was, Nate, Nate, on there. I got to stop you right there, Nate, real quick. Cause I went back and forth with the producers for three months about everything, about how these are EVA custom yeah. motorable strips, how it's you made in the USA, how it's BPA free, how it's this, that, the other. And the first thing the guy does is rips the molding strips out, yep. throws them in the trash can, the one guy. And then the other lady says, you shouldn't chew on plastic because it's probably going to be cancer causing. And I don't know how many packages I sold them or how many times there's a certification, a, li a label that says FDA compliant silicone, uh, uh, BPA free, cleanest American made. So they knew exactly what they were doing. Sure did. They didn't care. You know, they didn't care. They just... And every show has got me like that, man. The same thing with uh, Ellen DiGeneres. Uh, uh, she, she got me too, man. She, we reached out to her Salem with Ellen, and she ended up featuring us and throwing my ad up on her big screen. She got my girlfriend. Do, we're doing yoga on the beach. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll take the PR, but it uh, – Right. No, I totally get it. That's what, out. Yeah. Yeah. That's what that's why I brought it up. But that's why I brought it up is because I I saw the interview on my own accord, like without or not the interview, but the the doctor spot. And this is well before you and I have ever even linked up or anything. And I was like, man, how like I've seen this thing work like on the because I came across it on Instagram ad about 18 months ago, 19 months ago. And I was like, yo, that's something that looks, you know. And so when she pulled that thing off, or I, I, I think it was a gal that pulled it off. But I was like, you're not even doing it right. Like, you're totally like, taking the whole thing out. But with that said. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She tried it. She took the strips out. They, yeah. They, they, they yeah, with that said. The, the custom fitting process. They knew yeah. what they were doing. They didn't care. Yeah. They, they don't care, bro. With that said, though, um, you mentioned that you guys are, are in process of doing clinical trials and things of that nature. I think that's going to obviously expand on what, you know, folks like, which are facts and things of that nature, but there's no, there's no, uh, you know, there's no denying what those results are um, when you actually are, are doing it. So um, as you're coming out and as you're coming into, and this is just to clarify late uh, for folks, um, your accident was in 2014. Was that, and I, yeah, I got to call me out now. It's got to be six, yeah, six years ago, I suppose. Okay. Going on seven this February, Martin Luther King Day. I believe it's six or seven years. Um. So when, uh, so after, so it, when did Jaws or Size, when did you actually start to roll it out after 2014? You know, let's say somewhere 15 and 16 when I was doing the patent search, picking the market apart. Uh, and then 16, I did the Kickstarter, which would have been uh, August, uh, July of 2016. You know, and I was pre-selling for, for months and months before that. We asked for 10,000. We got successfully f funded at uh, 16,600. Wow. Yeah, it was good, bro. It was good. It wasn't as big of a home run as I thought it would be. And it would definitely, we put more into the advertising of it as we, it was a costly, I mean, but it worked. It got us some capital to work with. It got us through the final production tools and into market. You know, we were fresh right onto Amazon and Shopify.com for our website right after uh, Kickstarter to the same day, basically. And now, we, you know, we, we just started business year five back in uh, April. You know, we have a little, so you can see in the back, we have a couple of trademarks locked in and a couple of uh, uh, we finally locked in a patent out of multiple patents that we have pending. So wow. we're, we're really excited about that. I love that. So yeah. you're just out there in, in Hawaii living your best life, bro. That's it, bro. I practice yoga. I help people train at the gym. I train and go on hikes and uh, just trying to figure out the best way to safely convince the world that they need to exercise their face. You know? Right. Yeah. And how the world is. You got, you got yeah, man. I, I, I was gravitated to your story, which is um, why I wanted to chat with you in the first place. So I, I certainly appreciate you sharing that um, because it is something that I know, I mean, for myself just sitting here listening, um, 
I've undergone some pretty drastic changes myself in the last three months uh, to put myself in better position for the rest of my life. So um, I certainly appreciate, like, as I mentioned, you know, folks that fucking figure it out, man, you know, and want to do something. And then also are doing it for other people, like to see other people grow. Like that's a big fucking important factor for me too. You know, I mean, I, I like, I know where I can, I can tell where Jaws or size is going and I can tell based on who's, you know, at the head of it, um, how far that'll go. And I know that you got a lot of, a, a lot of energy in you and, and want to see this thing really through. So I, I, I'm super confident in what you guys are doing and uh, spreading the word of uh, health and um, wellness and fitness and, and being in tune with yourself. So I, I love it personally, bro. And I, I truly appreciate that, my friend. It's uh a facial exercise, uh, full gym for your face, essentially. You know, there's, I believe I have 12 different models now, different sizes, kind of top secret. We're, we're about to release a couple Ooh. different flavors, some all natural flavors coming. And uh, when folks know, go on your website, they, they, you, they can get like the starter pack, they can get the beginner, <laughs> the advanced, the elite, and then like the total transformation kit. I know you have yep. the face pump. I'm I'm basically doing this for you, but like what um, when they what what do you suggest to people? Like if if someone's watching this, they're like, what you know? I've never really done something like this. Like what what oh, would you suggest? I got you. You got to go get the full transformation kit, you know, because it has the different resistance levels. You start with the lightest one for this fresh exercise of utilizing the bite, and it's the juiciest with the deepest range of motion, and it's my overall favorite because. Uh, it's just the high repetition action for, I mean, I use it for long sets, you know what I'm saying? When I'm watching a movie or when I'm doing cardio, but the, but the point is, it's just, you don't lift just one weight when you work out, you, you work different angles. So as these all create different ranges of motion and as the resistance gets harder, these strips, you boil the, the device with the strips in for 30 seconds with a necklace, of course, Shake off the hot water and then you bite in softly. You see? It's then molded to your teeth, top, bottom. Uh, uh, and again, then the resistance level goes up, but then the range of motion changes. So now yeah. you're targeting more masses, or you're targeting more bulk, you're targeting more your ESM, this large neck muscle. You know, are you trying to bulk your neck out or are you trying to slim tone? Or are you just trying to maintain, you know, but regardless, uh, each device is for a different exercise, a different day of the week. Yeah. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. And then you, uh, I mentioned the face pump. What's, uh, you know, what's it, what's the special, I I, what's the special thing with that? man? I had it up here. I thought I must've took it downstairs, but it's a, it's a, it's a, a, a beet extract, niacin, all your vitamins, vitamin B, A, C, all the numbers. I mean, it's loaded with vitamins. It's very, very clean. Uh, uh, all of the ing uh, additives and ingredients, no artificial flavors and any of that garbage. And it, uh, with the niacin and, and the beet extract, it gives you like a sort of flush on your fascia. So it really helps. It's my pre-face pump workout it's called face pump jaws are berry but it has no caffeine in it so wow i i take it you know i take it even in the evenings as i'm doing i want a little extra pump a little extra you know stimulation yeah. blood flow i take a little scoop of it it's it's freaking gets so it, good gets you run gets you rolling i love that rolling i get rolling and it's uh it's it's super good yeah it's my, it's my well, go-to sure. yeah um i think I, I mean, I would like for you to give something to the people um, at the end here, just so, you know, we can take a Easter egg from everything that we spoke about. If you had to end with um, something about to, to, to share with, you know, our listeners and to the world about uh, perseverance, growth and, and strength, what, what would that be, man? I just have to say where, where there's a, a will, there's a way and everything in life that crosses your path is, Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but you've always got to be in a positive state of mind so you can see opportunity and seize the moment when you see it. So sometimes don't get over anxious looking for these opportunities, but you got to truly uh, 
enjoy enjoy the moment while trusting the journey at the same time. And uh, sometimes the it's always darkest before the dawn. So some of the most terrible things in life are just a true test of how how fast you get back up. And, and maybe you don't get fat up so fast that you hurt yourself. But take the steps. Plan your work. Plan what's going to get you to your next step. Then work that plan. And then once that plan's complete, replan what's going to get you to the next step. And if you don't, you know, ask, you, you got to ask the right people about the right, you know, ask the right questions. Uh, or even if it's the wrong question, but if you ask the right person, you get the right answer. So, you know, always be learning. You can never think that everybody always gets to think they know everything because they saw one video or one meme or one side of this or one side of that. And everybody's divided into two sides. And the reality is there's, uh, you just, you, the world's always changing along with everything that's in, the, in your life is always changing. So just don't be closed-minded. Be open-minded to new things. Love the hat, man. That's a great way to close that out, man. If you are thinking about starting something, do it. If you have wanted to start a podcast, do it. If you've wanted to put, uh, if you wanted to start your business, do it. Um, if whatever it is that you think that, is hold, holding you back is not holding you back as much as you really think it is. It's you that's holding you back. And I, it's always something that you can overcome. And, um, and if, if go ahead, what were you gonna say? Nate, I was just going to say, it's two choices. You need to think you do it or you don't do it. Right. And one or the other, you need, and you're, both ways you're right. And, uh, I just often hear because of the podcast that I've been doing and also with other ventures that I do like, Oh, how'd you get that started? Or, what, what did it take to get that started? I did it. That's it. And then I'll figure it out. Like I'll figure it out as I go along through it. If I don't let it swim, it's not, it's, if I don't throw it out into the pool, it's never going to learn how to swim. Nay, you miss every shot you never take, bro. Heard that, bro. So um, I really appreciate it, Brandon. Again, Brandon Harris, CEO, owner, founder of Jaws or Size. Please put out the website, where can they find you on Instagram and things of that nature and the, and the products and, and, and all those, all the contact info. So same thing, hit us up on uh, uh, jawsersize.com, uh, Amazon Prime on a worldwide level in, in Jawsersize, we ship to 160 plus countries, same day shipping Monday through Friday. Um, uh, Nate, more than anything, I want to express the 60 day, 100% money back guarantee. Uh, I just know that you're going to love this product, but it, it, again, everything is not for everyone. Everybody has a mouth, whether they choose to exercise it or not is your own decision. So try it at zero risk. I'm telling you, I will give you your money back plus shipping. You know, we have some, we don't want people getting out of control with this offer and buying a whole bunch of them, <laughs> but, but hey. You buy one pack, you try them out, and you tell me, you know what, Brandon, I'm sorry, this isn't for me. I personally handle those, and, and, and I thank you for trying and gladly give you your money back. And that's just the way we roll, and that's, that's why it, it, made, it irks me that this year has been really successful for us because we're an American-made product and because we went all in mm -hmm. when everybody else held, well, held back because they were scared of uh, China trading and, and, and this, that, and the other. We doubled down or tripled down. And uh, I don't even know where I was going with that, Nate. It's just <laughs> exciting stuff, man. And, oh, oh, yeah, that's man. where I was going was uh, we were a five-star, 4.9 on a five-star product. We got down to a 3.8, and nine out of ten of our reviews are strictly related to lost packages. And we do every step to follow up and get them their replacement. But at the same time, it's it's really bad at our brand, but we kept pushing up, the, you know, we just, uh, that's well, all we can do, so. Yeah, I, I know that you guys have got that worked out on that end, or and or at least addressing it, so. Oh, um, take, that Yeah, I, um, we're in there. yeah, yeah, it's a really, uh, it's something that I've noticed too, that, uh, you know, folks aren't even uh, looking at the act, or it's with everything though too go on to yelp bro like you can go to they'll, they'll just comment about like they won't even comment about how dope the food was but like uh comment like the, their waiter was wearing weird flip-flops you're like yo man that's not even that's not even a review dog like that's not yeah. even real 
You know what I'm saying? A hundred percent, man. How relative um, is, is it? It's is crazy. Well, um, I want to let you all know um, that uh, I, because of the, the podcast and what, what I do, which is read, Jaws or Size obviously is something that I do so that I can read for <laughs> fucking the 45 minutes, sometimes to an hour and a half um, at a time. So I'll be getting in uh, my own uh, pack so that I can show everyone what's going on with that. And um, yeah, uh, we hope to hook up some of our listeners here, uh, maybe down the road, but I, that's far from what I really wanted to focus on here with you, Brandon, was your story, how you grew, how that sort of adversity that you came across impacted you and then how you overcame it. And I think you did a really good job of explaining that. And then of course, explaining your product and, and what you want to do for the world, man. So I really, I really do appreciate um, you coming on and, and explaining that to our, to our listeners here. 100%, Nate, and I appreciate you putting the show on at the same point when your package arrives uh, and, you, and you really really kick your facial fitness routine off. You got to take your before pictures. And I'm going lighting. to. I'm going to. Okay, because this is, this is a day-to-day -day change. You see yourself every day, and if you see yourself, and you change 1% a day, and you see yourself every day, comparing 10 days to 10%, comparing 1% to 1% to 1%, it's, it's almost a trickery of the mind. Right. So the before pictures and the good lighting, you compare that to day 30, day 60. And it works both ways, man. You stop exercising your face, it goes back the other direction. So yeah, you know, for sure. We've seen people <laughs> all the way through this journey the last four years just go for me and loving it, stopping, and then be like, oh my gosh, I'm back on it. I can't believe I stopped. And uh, as with everything, man, you got to make sure you keep going. Put the work in, baby. That's hey, what's man, up. So, so thank you so much for having me on the show, bro. I look forward to uh, talking to you down the road. All right, brother. Okay. Peace out, y'all. Make you come the third. Short story, bingo. Our stories. Peace. Dun, dun, dun. Spare fingers. Yes. <laughs>